Troll there, and welcome to Planet Based Snow Apocalypse, episode 23. Snow Apocalypse. Okay, guys, so. Let's bring you up. I wish we could actually have both of those on screen, because I best know that number, that number, and this. But it's interesting that bit. Tiny little bit there, oh, indeed. Anyway. Incoming transmission, excellent timing. We've just arrived back at the base, so we can not just talk to you. A small ship of fugitives want food, water, and. You know what? Yes. They're fugitives, but we like them in nonetheless, especially if they're paying. Uh, what are you bringing? What do you mean? 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 do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? We, we're ready for them. We're ready for them. And they appear to be behaving themselves. Excellent. Okay, okay, you behave yourselves. Right, F2. Uh, power levels, please. Power levels are actually pretty good. We're, we're peaking, but only just peaking. We'll keep an eye on that. It could be uh, something else, though. Uh, keep an eye on that anyway. Water levels are good. Power generation. We did have a bit of a lower peak just there, didn't we? Yeah. That may be a bit of an issue. I don't think it will be, though. Many more power generation. Just keep an eye on that. Water's actually really good. More than good, actually. Auction levels are damn good. Alright, so food levels are excellent. Do that for meals and alcoholic drinks. Alright, so we don't really have any issues in there. I think we have a bit poor. I need to figure out what's happening here. How do we get that level to go up? I don't know. But we have 12 metal and we have everything we want. Let's go build the pyramid. Can we build the pyramid yet? Or do we need to build something else first? Uh, so we can build that. Yes, we can build the pyramid, then we can get the monolith after that. The pyramid will take 20, 10 metal. I think it's worth it. Can I have it bigger? No. Oh. Okay, so the pyramid can be built. I could build it out here, sort of with my signpost, so as the ships come into land, they see the pyramid and they see the monolith. But I kind of think it's one of those things where people want to come and look at it from the base. I mean, you know, you live in the base all day long, you probably want to see uh, a nice little pyramid outside. Ooh, that's the perfect place for it. Look at that. That's where the old landing pads used to be. It's perfect because we can put it in here. Um, and link it as a second path to that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's put it... Ooh, so I can't have that there and that there. Which I'm fine with. I would have... Ooh, I can actually put it right there. Link it to there. Link it to there. And we have now two big power feeds in from our uh, main power grid to our main building. Now, I'm point this probably does produce... Uh, probably does demand power. So, uh, yeah, there is that downside to it, isn't there? Okay. Uh, our all levels are at 10. Does that mean we actually probably need more of these? No, they're not even using them all. Look. So if they're not using them all, there's no point actually upgrading them. Now, on top of... I completely forgot about all the trees. I just go over and say, ah, trees! Uh, yeah, so actually everything's looking pretty decent. Uh, storage over here is just not getting filled, which... I don't know why they're not, not filling it, but... Okay. We are, however, making new bots. We are making carrier bot there and carrier bot there, because they are my most important bots that I think we need. Because I mean, the fact that the food is just sat in the corridors is just proof that we need more carry bots. Uh, that, that kind of kind of says it all, really, doesn't it? What's that button do? Quick save. No, thank you. Right. So, what can we do to get our guys nice and happy? We have a bar, and it's full of alcohol. We have sleeping places. Blizzard imminent. Imminent. Everyone inside then. Especially people trying to build that uh, dome over there. Look at that. Run away! Everyone, run! Run! Back inside, there's two airlocks here, guys. Use them, use them correctly. Use them. Split it up to the two airlocks. Don't be stupid. The airlocks are ready for you. Really? You all in some queue up here? You are the stupid one. You would be in now if you uh, were over there. Oh uh, well. Okay, so what I was looking at, what I was thinking of, is we have a lot of these dorms for people to sleep in. What if we sort of start building some cabins? I mean, cabins we know bump up uh, people's happiness. We could remove that and put a cabin in its place. Um, we could build more out this way, just load of cabins. Just sort of replace all these guys with cabins. We could do all actually, we do have the room for all of them, but what we could do is bring down here and make this. Oh, actually, can we get like a set of cabins down here? That would be nice. Uh, well, well, the storm's going on. Let's have a quick look. A cabin, a large cabin. Put one there. One probably there. Maybe there. 
I might want to get four cabins in here. No, that wouldn't be too bad. Not bad at all, actually. Uh, can we go full speed, guys? Because this storm's getting a little bit on my nerves. Yes. Okay. There's something on my monitor that's annoying me. Um, so the three airlocks. What? Oh, you're the, uh, the, the people leaving. You don't care about the sandstorms and radiation or that sort of thing. We'll kill you anyway. Jeez, people. You could wait in the airlock for, for it to stop. There we go. You see, you wait like a minute. You won't even be injured out there. Ooh, it's nighttime as well. What's our power situation now? It's nighttime. Ooh. Yeah, that's a. Oh, we almost peaked, but we didn't peak. That's confirmation we need more power generation. Okay. Um, also, the sand, the, the, the snowstorm probably did affect the solar panels and stuff, so let's actually just door check that information first. Uh, no, we actually have pretty decent power generation most of the night. So. It was. It wasn't for as long. Ah, yes. Probably the sun's here. Yeah, okay. So we did kind of lose. Hello. A trading ship has arrived. We have nothing to trade you. We have loads of medical supplies. We have nothing we need to trade you. But I'll look at you anyway and get you out anything useful. You have medical supplies. You can go away. Hello. What, 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 what? Getting sped. Oh, there's still crap out here. Yeah, can we get the crap inside before it degrades? Because I've spent a lot of money on that stuff. Uh, okay, we're going to get this thing built. I'm gonna not going to prioritise it. But I am going to start placing down these areas. Now, I'm going to do it just here. Uh, I think I should have built that further out, but I didn't want to do that. I wasn't smart enough. I'm going to start placing down these cabins. So, cabin, cabin, full-size cabins at maximum range to make sure the corridors have the best, uh, are the best, can't put the first, but yeah, have the best. Cabin. There. To there. So I'm just going to put in these. I'm putting them in long corridors because so they don't sort of clash with each other if we're trying to put them in. Cabin, big, big cabin. Big, really? Can I put the cabin in there? Right, I can put a big cabin there. But I can small, small cabin over here. Ooh. I'm about to put a big cabin as far away as I can get it, like that. And then if I can get more in that, even if it's only a little one, I'll go for it. Big cabin? Oh, I can get a big cabin right there. Okay. Uh, right there then. All those cabins should really help out with people being uh, a little bit sad uh, when they come to the colony. Also, we haven't wasted anything here because we can just put like a water tower or something. There we go. Uh, these actually will require two, well three each of each one. That's not a major issue. Um, and we can probably dismantle maybe this room here because of the amount of beds we've been we gained. Yeah. Also, this place here has a bit of time to go. So let's just go full speed and get them building that stuff. Uh, I would actually kind of prefer them to get this up and running first, so I can see its power levels and turn it off. But uh, oh, they actually appear to be they appear to be prioritising that anyway. That's what the English words I was trying to say were. Um, okay, uh, how are we doing on spares? Manufacturing spares are shut down, but the machine, yeah, the machines are actually full, which is actually pretty decent as long as we can get uh, metal in there before running. Uh, Bioplast shouldn't be an issue. Metal is still borderline, but no, no, metal shouldn't be an issue. 10 on there, uh, 10? 10 on there. Yes, yeah, so we have 8, and that'll be uh, 3, 6, 9. So we, we get most of these sort of built up pretty easily. And also, we're making more metal all the time anyway. So hopefully, we will see that uh, progress nicely. Look at that, it's just coming on really, really nice, isn't it? Look at that stack of stuff as well. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Climbing out of the ground. I do like the way it sort of builds up from the ground. I also like the fact if you click on them, you can see the rest of it coming up from below. <laughs> That's kind of a nice little efficient way to draw the animation. You have one animation, one node graphic, and then you just raise it up out of the ground. And there we go. And this thing requires 30 prestige, but it takes no power to run it. Well, I'm more than happy to have for that. I mean, wow. I mean, I was expecting to draw like 40 power and be really worried about it. Incoming transmission! A large groups of wounded soldiers. Now, here's a great thing. A large group of wounded soldiers. We have 35 medicine on sta staff. So, I'm going to accept them and hope there's less than 35. Because it says large, but I don't know what it means by large. Please be less than 35. Please be less than 35. And the answer is... And the answer is... 13! That's a little bit less than 35. Now, a lot of our medical supplies are going to be in here. Oh, they're not. Okay. This one, hopefully, is fully stocked. It is. 
This one hopefully is fully stocked. Please be stocked. This one is not stocked. Okay. And our supply over here. This one is fully stocked. Okay, so we got our two fully stocked ones. This one over here is going to be doing a lot of back and forth right now to get medical supplies to go into there. But that's not a major issue for us. It's more of a major issue for them. <laughs> and then they go. Actually, no one's actually fighting us either, which is actually really nice to see. Uh, but there they go. We're going to go to medical beds. There's, there are, there's more than enough medical beds, I believe, for these people. So they all fill that one up. Uh, and then this one over here should get filled as well. Dun, 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 there they go. I love how they go around the storage plate, even if it's empty. And so they go into there. Good. Oh, 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 oh. Trading ship. Can I have coal in this? It'd be nice. Um, I could do with more metal. I could just buy the metal out, right? Uh, you know what? I have. I'm not going to do it. I was about to give you uh, a load of food, but it takes ages to, to do it. So I'm going to give you all my cash. Da -da 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 and then we're a bit short, so what costs more? Give you a gun. That takes some metal and bioplast, though. They're worth a lot more, though. Boom. Boom. 260. One. Uh, I'll give you some medical supplies, because that's not kind of what I'm trying to. Ooh, 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 ooh. 31. I can't give you. Ooh. I'll give you one piece of food. I'm taking back five credits off of you. Oop, too bad. Four credits off of you. Uh, yeah, that'll do nicely. That extra metal is going to be used for building stuff, so I mean, I know I probably need the metal more. Uh, it's all good. Okay, you are all in medical beds. They're good. And then over here in this far-reaching building. Good. Okay, medical people are hopefully treating people. They are. Look at that medical staff. They're amazing. By the way, medics. We have five medics for 13 people. So that's interesting. Uh, and in here, there shouldn't be anybody in here now. Uh, which one shuts the building down? Edit containers, disable... There we go. I don't want anybody in them doing that when they should be treating somebody. No one should be making more medical supplies when we have medical supplies galore. You should be in there treating the patients. Are you going to treat the patients? No, you're going to eat something, aren't you? There you are, I see you. Fine, medic. Eat your meal and then go save lives. Go into a drinking fountain. You know what you could do? Save lives. Go into bed. Just saying, saving lives might have been an option there. Just, just put it out there. You could have saved someone's life. I have three medics in this one room, by the way. It's amazing to see them all go. But look, we also have the guys over here. These guys are almost entirely treated. And then guys over here. Uh, there's one person over here who's not quite treated, but is actually going to die because there's no medic. Just pointing that out. The medics choose not to, to heal somebody. And I can't see anybody in that way. Oh, that's not going good. So the problem is a medic has to get there to treat the person before they die, but I don't see a medic in the area. Come on, medics, you can do it. You can do it. Med there we go. Medic, 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 medic. Slow the game down. Switch to internal view and camera view. Boom. I can't see the patient because the patient's not just here, but we can see the medic coming in. Come on, medic. Medic. There you are. I see medic. Medic, 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 medic. And, oh, the treatment's out of view. I was hoping it'd be like, somebody has said he didn't do the work, but no. Okay. But the medic is treating the person. The person is no longer going to die. Excellent. The cabin has been built. Good. Uh, so, they've all been trapped apart from that one. Yes. All the injured people have been trapped apart from that one person. Okay. So, from over here, to speed this up, we've got two more metals required over here. Uh, one on each of these two pads, because they need one, two each. Uh, apparently that one got dropped because the guy walked into a wall and couldn't go around, even though there's a very clear path there. Fine. Oh, a CNT. Why would you do that? CNT is carrier, right? C yeah, because TNT is trinitrous. Just, just thinking that loud. Uh, yeah, so if we can get these guys built, it'd be great. I can start looking at other stuff then. i will prioritise them. 200, uh, 325 coins? Excellent. Excellent. Are we at full speed? We are. Could you guys come out here? There we go. Pop that down and build it when you're here. Do not walk away. And... Damn you. Okay, you. Wrong direction. Wrong direction. Very, very much the wrong direction, actually. Turn around. Turn. Anyone going to come and build these? No? Would appreciate it. Fine, you can all sleep somewhere then. 
Hey, traders. I need colonists. I'm not being colonists in. I am asking for colonists to come in. They're just not coming in because the place is a crap hole. Also, I don't need any more ore from you. Thank you, but no thank you. Uh, yeah. Hello. Where are you going? Getting ore. It's a long way to go and get the ore when you could just go through the base. Probably isn't a better route through the base. Eh, uh, yeah, that's a possibility, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I can't really put anything that way because there's nowhere to hook on to. Um, that's a dead end room anyway. That's an external building. Yeah, there's no way to hook onto this base. You have to go through that long route. Fair enough. Kind of plays into my wheelhouse on the grounds that they're doing what I want them to do. Uh, you guys are making me more bots, hopefully. But you do need materials. You need metal and circuits, which you don't have for your... Another box damaged. No. Stop damaging the bots. They're expensive. I mean, they, they're, they're friends, and I like them. Uh, put one there. One there. These are bioplasts. We should have this built pretty damn quickly. Do this side now. Uh, boop. And boop. If you can get three each side, I think you can get one in the top centre. So I'm going to do that last one by itself. So it's like a... It's good. Oh, it'd be a little lopsided otherwise, wouldn't it? Edit that one. Give me a bit. I wish you put like plants in here or something. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? If you can put plants in, it'd make that little bit extra uh, customization. You could put them there, there, there. Like that, put like dual plants at the doorway. Just like hit some plants on the entrance. That'd be nice. But no. Unfortunately unfortunately no. Uh da -da 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 -da. and then one there, and then one there, and then this side. Boop do it And come on. There you go. And then the final one of the four, because I built four cabins to really help out with people's morale. Because I care about the morale of my colonists. Because a happy colony is one that produces a lot of goods and doesn't go to sleep a lot. Also, the people are important to me. <laughs> there we go, four cabins, all prepped ready to go, full speed. Let's get those built up pretty damn quickly. With 40, um, well, 38 now, but the bioplast should just flood into this place. Look at that, look at all that bioplast. It literally is just flooding into this place right now. So, all the rooms. Uh, there shouldn't be a problem with oxygen because they're uh, cabins and not, um, and not dorms, so each one contains less people but there are four of them so that is a potential downside and I can't alter it so I may have to delete the medical bit, uh, facility and then put a oxygen generator to sort of force oxygen into the area that is an option that might actually be required also if this was a uh, lot of plants that would help the sort of storage room not a plant room damn it I don't put trees in there just really help out people walk through the trees on the way uh yeah okay almost complete just the last two two bits of bioplast required guys we, well, we ate for a lot of that bioplast. <laughs> it's only three of them free, and we need two of them for beds. So, okay. That's not too bad. Let's look at our power charts, because we haven't looked at them for a little while. We did max out again, which I'm happy with, uh, because the power... Yeah, okay, we, we did max out again, so I am very happy with that. Uh, there it is. There it is. The last bioplast, then just make the two beds. Make the two beds. Or you could get in one of the beds. That's also an option. There you go. And then get into that one. Well, you get into the bed you made. You know what they say? You make your bed, you sleep in it. Alright, so, for all intents and purposes, this is now a complete facility. Make the bed. Thank you. So there we go. All of these, uh, this little facility on the end here, the, the sleeping facility, is all done. Perfect. And a trading ship arrived just in time to make room for beds. Oh, how nice. Medical supplies. Oh, no. Okay, so, we have our pyramid. Excellent. We have our signpost. Excellent. Just draw 1.5 for power, but that's not a lot. We have one thing left to build on this big chart that I can build from here, and that's a monolith. It takes 30 metal. We do not have 30 metal. It takes 10 um, circuits. We do not have 10 circuits. It takes 10 bioplast. We do have the 10 bioplast. I would really like to put it on display where the colonists themselves can see it, because it's part of them as well. It's their colony as well. I don't really want to put it over here, but I could put it, if I can get it behind these beds, when people go to sleep, they'll be able to see it. But it looks like it's not going to be an option for me. That's a shame. Uh, yes, it can't go over this way because... It's jamming. It can't go over this way because reasons. Can I, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. It can go there. It's going to go there. It's going to link into that one, actually. So, there we go. One monolith right on the far side of the colony, looking down pyramid and signpost. Perfect. It is unfortunately um, going to take a lot of metal, so we need to trade for that. So back to full speed. Da -da. 
da 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 Ooh, hello. So the question is, do I... Well, I can now. I can, I can probably get to the point where I start deleting these things. So we don't need them anymore. And maybe put cabins in their places. And really help people with their prestige problems. Uh, not that one. Not that one. That one. So it's poor right now. So we could actually start deleting these rooms, these dorms. We've got all these spare beds. There's nobody in them? Yeah, let's get rid of one of these. Boom. I will probably put a cabin in its place to replace it so that they're all cabins. I think it's probably the better way of doing it. Uh, but we'll find out. There's a lot of bioplasts and a lot of metal coming this way. So I am aware that I've just deleted a room and they're going to immediately flood in there and grab all the metal for the monolith. I don't have a problem with that, actually. But when I build a... When I, when I actually grab the room and say, Hey, I want this to be a... Uh, a dorm, uh, my cabin, I will make it to high priority so the materials go there first. Because I want the cabins to be all done and we'll get our prestige up to a nice high level. Not prestige, our, uh, our welfare up to a nice high level first. Our meals are pretty decent as well. 55 meals. Ooh. Excellent. I need to keep an eye on that power though. It's, uh, it's, I think to keep an eye on. Um, airlocks are pretty decent. They should be locked on the inside just in case something breaks the glass. Just playing. Uh, this place is actually doing pretty damn well over here. Uh, this guy has got a long way actually in our materials. Do they still degrade out there? Because that's going to be a problem if they degrade out there. I don't know. If they, if they degrade while they're out there, you know, given that they're uh, on the they're on the construction pad, so I don't know if it would degrade. I am, however, going to delete all of this stuff because I don't need it. And we have a lot of bioplast anyway. And I'm going to place that cabin I said I'm going to build anyway because I want people to be happy and uh, have nice places to live. So, boom, 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 boom. High priority. There we go. It might actually be worth getting rid of this entirely and then just building them around. But I don't know. You were actually really good, weren't you? I don't think they're degrading out here. We'll have to find out. But that'll be in the next episode when we decide to... I'm going to have to go throughout all of these. Actually, it might be a good idea to get rid of that entirely in the next episode and then build it up again afterwards. Don't know yet. But I'm going to be demolishing all of the dorms and replacing them with cabins because I think we do actually have that little bit of a need for uh, cabins. But until next time, the traders are here. Ooh, they've got bots. Got carry. Ooh, I want them to carry bots. I don't really care about constructor bot. Uh, I don't care about them that much, but I really do care about carry bots. Give me all your. We'll give you all the money. Money, 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 money. Just buy these bots. I'm gonna buy some of them. I'm just, I'm just gonna buy that. I'll give you all my cash and then take them back. I'm not going to give you anything like them. I'm going to keep those around for now. Okay. But if I take that, how much can I get? So I'll take those away. 300, 300. Ooh, I can get one. Not worth it. Uh, take my cash back to 24, 224. Oh, too fast. I wasn't paying attention to the value when I was saying it out loud. 224, please. There we go. Give me two constructor bots. Hello, well, carry bots. Hello, carry bots. You're really going to be uh, put up to your uh, work right now because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be moved. A lot of it. All right, so medics should be getting in here and making stuff when they can now. I'm going to leave them off of my project to see how they work. Um, all the cabins over here are full of beds. All right, so once again, we're going to complete all this in the next time round. This will probably get built pretty damn quickly. You know what? I will replace that building when we get ready to do it, but these are the more important. We will build those in the next episode. Until then, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Visitors! We haven't had them for a while. Colonists! We haven't had them for a while. <laughs>